Hey honey bunches, so this video, as you can see, is all about after school or work or uni or whatever, um, vegan snack recipes, but they could just be like a baking session or snack making session. Um, yeah, they're all snacky and all fab. So the first recipe is for Chunky Monkey Freezer Slice. Um, so you want to chop up some banana coins and layer them in a lined baking tin approximately the size. This is a very flexible recipe. Um, pop them in the freezer and now harden up. They can have a few gaps in them, but you know, try and make it a flat layer of banana as much as you can. Then you want to top it with um, peanut butter. Okay, so then the next layer is a caramel layer, so you want to add to melted coconut oil, some maple syrup, and some nut butter, and a sprinkle of salt is nice because salted caramel is ten times better than regular. Um, it is quite good. Anyway, so once the nut butter is quite set, peanut butter if you're using that, um, then pour on top of the caramel. Um, Back to the freezer it goes and then the final layer you guessed it is melted chocolate and i just toasted up some peanuts um, and popped them on top you could probably buy roasted salted peanuts that'd be much easier but anyway back to the freezer one more time and then you're good um to chop and serve i would totes recommend keeping it in the freezer um but yeah like the banana does last a long time in the freezer which is very satisfying so don't worry about that um and yeah that's the first recipe, soup delish, good in summer, you northern hemisphere dwellers. The next recipe is for double chocolate and raspberry muffins, and I'm stoked about this. I've had some real success in the gluten-free vegan baking department, so this follows that. You want to put a tin of aquafaba, it could be from chickpeas, from beans, whatever. Just not lentils because they sort of bleed into it and make it super lentil, super, super lentily. And then there's some plant milk, some maple, some oil, some coconut sugar, apple cider vinegar, vanilla probably another ingredient I missed there anyway so they're your wet ingredients whisk until smooth eh? and then you want to add some buckwheat flour some chickpea flour almond meal um, and just plain flour gluten-free or not cacao uh, cocoa baking powder and bicarbonate soda and salt and that's it and then whisk the uh, dry into the wet wet into the dry um, I just use a spatula to like press out any lumps there weren't any like major situations going on I'm a lazy poop and didn't sift it but look it works out fine and then the stir-ins are simply some vegan chocolate so I chopped up some lint 70% and also stirred in some frozen raspberries which I recommend over fresh because they hold their shape much more convincingly um, when it comes to stirring them through um, don't worry about like the flakes of uh, ice <laughs> they don't really make a difference but yeah super pumped with this flour combination and the use of aquafaba you can't taste like the chickpea flour or like exclusively the buckwheat flour but with the combination of flours it works really well um and yeah the aquafaba just makes like it be all light um and not dry and just really convincingly like a muffin which I know it sounds super simple, but if you've tried vegan gluten-free cooking, it's a turmoil. But anyway, success! Um, and they rise really nicely, and I couldn't recommend them more. Definitely fed them to a whole bunch of um, sceptical over-60s. <laughs> My mum took them to a morning tea, and they were gobbled up like a treat. And no one batted an eyelid at what they were free from, so... That's a rave review. I <laughs> really recommend these and hopefully from now on my cake game in the gluten-free vegan department will also be top notch. So yeah, the last recipe is for cinnamon sugar pita chips. This is not really a recipe, it's kind of like a recipe idea. Super good. Of course you just make cinnamon toast but these are like just a fun delish thing. Um, so I just used like some gluten-free tortillas. You use any sort you like. Then pop them on a tray and massage. I put a bit too much oil on the tray, but whatever. Um, just massage like a, a couple of teaspoons of oil on both sides, and then pop some cinnamon. You could like sprinkle. You don't have to like sift it. I just did that because it sort of made it more even distribution. Um, and then I use coconut sugar. But you could use any type of sugar you need, and then pop them in a hot oven for not very long at all. Um, watch them because they brown super quick. And only took like five minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, they're fab and super crunchy if you like something with a bit of texture. And they're the three recipes, honey munchers. I hope you enjoyed them. There's Nelson. He was by my side cooking everything. Um, yeah, 
find the full ones on my blog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video super soon. Lots of love. Bye.